students we all know that new cells come from pre-existing cells new cells are formed by the process of cell division which involves both division of the nucleus that is karyokinesis and division of the cytoplasm that is cytokinesis in this way two genetically identical daughter cells are thus formed there are two types of cell division mitosis and meiosis mitosis typically occurs in somatic cells formation of an adult organism from a fertilized egg a sexual reproduction regeneration and maintenance or repair of body parts all are possible through mitotic division meiosis on the other hand results in the formation of gametes in animals and spores in plants if you want to see mitosis happening in the cells which cells would you look at in plants as well as in animals to study the stages of mitosis you need to look for such tissues where there are many cells in the process of mitotic division in plants cell division is restricted to growing regions these regions usually occur at the tip of stems and roots in animals cell division occurs almost everywhere as new cells are formed old ones are replaced by new ones before starting the preparation of temporary slides let us recall the process of mitosis mitosis we start with the non dividing stage where the cells are known to be in a stage called interphase when a cell is in interphase the nucleus may have dark stained nucleolus and is filled with a fine network of threads the chromatin this phase is very important for cell division because genetic material duplicates by replication during this phase so once a cell is ready with replicated dna it starts dividing mitosis involves two events that is karyokinesis and cytokinesis karyokinesis or the division of the nucleus has different phases they are prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase during prophase thickening of the chromatin threads occurs thickening continues until chromatin condenses into chromosomes means here you will see that the dna molecules continuously shorten and condense by coiling to form chromosomes in late prophase the nuclear membrane and nucleolus are no longer visible simultaneously the centrioles move toward opposite poles in the meantime centrioles start developing spindle fibers gradually a spindle apparatus made up of microtubules develops polar fibers continue to extend from the poles to the center of the cell chromosomes move randomly until they attach to polar fibers from both sides of their centromeres during metaphase the chromosomes have moved to the center of this spindle chromosomes get attached to the center of the spindle through their centromeres all the chromosomes lie at about the same level of the spindle on an imaginary plane called the metaphase plate or equatorial plate at this stage two distinct 
chromatids of each chromosome can be observed which are arranged along the metaphase plate next comes anaphase stage it starts with separation of chromatids means the centromere region of each pair of chromatid separates separated chromatids move in opposite direction towards the poles of the spindle apparatus once the two chromatids separate each chromatid starts behaving like a daughter chromosome the daughter chromosomes continue to show movement towards the poles until they form two compact clumps one at each pole telophase the last stage of division is marked by uncoiling of the chromosomes followed by the formation of a new nuclear envelope around each group of chromosomes nuclei begin to form at opposite poles the nuclear envelopes of these nuclei are formed nucleoli also reappear chromatin fibers of chromosomes uncoil after these changes karyokinesis is largely completed and the genetic contents of one cell is divided equally into two now cytoplasmic material has to divide to generate daughter cells for this in plants a new cell wall is laid down thus generating two daughter cells in animal cells the old cell membrane pinches off in the middle to form two new daughter cells in both the cases at the end of cytokinesis there are two distinct daughter cells this division of the cytoplasm is called cytokinesis i hope now you will be able to identify various stages of cell division let us prepare a temporary slide of onion root tip to observe the various stages of mitosis in plant cells objective objective of this experiment is to prepare a temporary slide of onion root tip to observe various stages of mitosis for preparing a temporary slide of onion root tip we need an onion beaker water slide cover slip concentrated hydrochloric acid 1n hydrochloric acid ethyl alcohol 1% acetocarmine brush forceps watch glass blade microscope spirit lamp etc remove old roots from an onion and put it on a beaker filled with water let it remain undisturbed for 4 5 days new roots will appear when the roots are 2 3 cm long cut the root tips keep these root tips in a solution of concentrated hydrochloric acid and 95% ethyl alcohol mixed in 1 is to 1 ratio keep them in this solution for 15 to 20 minutes transfer the root tips in 1n hydrochloric acid in a watch glass decant 1n hydrochloric acid and add a few drops of 1% acetocarmine solution warm it till the stain evaporates before it is dried add more stain in it it is necessary 
for better staining. Select a healthy root tip and place it on a slide. Cut the tip, discard rest of the material. Place cover slip over it. Squash the root tip by applying gentle pressure. This will help to spread the cells uniformly. Observe the slide first under low power. Locate a specific area and then see it under high power. Observe and identify the different stages of mitosis. Observations Interface This is a cell depicting non-dividing phase of the cell cycle interface. It is a phase between two successive cell divisions. Chromatin fibers appear in the form of a network within the nucleus. Nuclear envelope is visible and this dark stained body is nucleolus. Now we try to find out first stage of the cell division. This cell depicts the stage prophase. Why we call it prophase? Because here we can see that chromatin material has shortened and condensed into thread-like structures called chromosomes. Try to count number of chromosomes in one cell. There are 16 chromosomes in each cell. Each chromosome consists of two chromatids joined at a point called centromere. As this is late prophase stage, so nuclear membrane and nucleolus have disintegrated. Some cells are ahead in division. They have reached to the next stage that is metaphase. This is one of the cells depicting metaphase. A bipolar spindle has developed in the cell. Chromosomes have become thick and two chromatids of each chromosome have become slightly more clear. Chromosomes have arranged themselves at the equator of the spindle. Each chromosome gets attached to the spindle fibers at its centromere. This feature is not very clear here. But as such you know that point of attachment in a chromosome is its centromere. This is anaphase stage of mitosis. The two sister chromatids of each chromosome have separated. Their tendency is to go towards poles. This is the late anaphase stage where chromosomes have almost reached two opposite poles. These cells represent telophase, the next stage of mitosis. The spindle has disappeared and the daughter chromosomes have uncoiled to form chromatin fibers at the two poles. In late telophase stage, nuclear membrane and nucleolus have appeared. This is a cell which has finally divided into daughter cells after the division of cytoplasm means cytokinesis has taken place in this cell. As it is a plant cell, cell plate formation has resulted into formation of two daughter cells. Each daughter cell contains 16 chromosomes. Precautions Base of 
onion should remain in contact with the water present in the beaker. The material should be warmed gently. Always use clean slide and cover slip. Material should be mounted in the center of the slide. There should be no air bubble under the cover slip. Now in next experiment, we will see stages of mitosis in animal cells. Although the process of cell division is more or less similar to that of plant cell division, but still there are certain differences between mitosis of plant cells and animal cells. We will discuss these differences later on after studying various stages of mitosis in animal cells. So, let us prepare a temporary slide of cells taken from a white fish blastula to study the various stages of mitotic cell division in animal cells. Experiment 2 Objective Objective of this experiment is to prepare a temporary slide of a white fish blastula to study the various stages of mitosis. Material required White fish blastula, acetic acid, methanol, needle, brush, slide, cover slip, acetocarmine stain, burner, etc. Procedure Put a white fish blastula in a mixture of acetic acid and methanol present in a ratio of 1 is to 3 for 24 hours. Take out a piece of blastula tissue on a slide and add acetocarmine on it. Warm it over a burner. Warm it till the stain evaporates. Before it is dried, add more stain in it. It is necessary for better staining. Tease it with the help of a needle. Warm it again. Put a cover slip over the material present on the slide. Keep it in the fold of tissue paper and tap it to squash the tissue. Once again, gently warm the slide above burner. Now the slide is ready. This slide will help you in studying various stages of cell division in animal cells. To observe the slide, you will have to keep it under a microscope. Put it first under low power lens to locate specific area. Specific area, here I mean to say the area comprising cells showing division. Now, try to see the same area under high power lens to examine the details of different stages of mitosis. Let us see what is visible through microscope. While observing different stages, keep one thing in mind that how these stages differ from the similar stages in plant cells. Observations Let us look for a cell which represents a non-dividing phase of the cell cycle that is interphase. It is a phase between two successive cell divisions. Chromatin fibers appear in the form of a network within the nucleus. Nuclear envelope is visible and this dark stained body is nucleolus. This cell has entered into cell division starting its stage prophase. Here we can see that chromatin material has shortened and condensed into thread-like structures 
called chromosomes. Counting of chromosomes is possible with a more powerful microscope. Each chromosome consists of two chromatids joined at a point called centromere. This cell depicts a more advanced stage of prophase where nuclear membrane and nucleolus have disintegrated. Some cells are ahead in division. They have reached to the next stage that is metaphase. Spindle has developed in these cells. In animal cells, there are centrioles that pull on the spindle fibers towards the poles of the cell during metaphase. Please note that centrioles are not present in plant cells. In plant cells, spindle fibers are made up of microtubules present in the cytoplasm of cells. During mitosis, they form the spindle. This cell depicts metaphase. Complete spindle of fibers, microtubules, has developed. Chromosomes have become thick and have arranged themselves at the equator of the spindle. This is anaphase stage of mitosis. The two sister chromatids of each chromosome have separated. The separated chromatids would like to go towards poles. This is the early telophase stage where chromosomes have almost reached to opposite poles. In this stage, the spindle has disappeared and the chromosomes have uncoiled to form chromatin fibers at the two poles. This cell is of late telophase stage. In late telophase stage, nuclear membrane and nucleolus have appeared. Means, we can say that from one nucleus, two daughter nuclei have appeared. This is a cell which has finally divided into daughter cells after the division of cytoplasm means cytokinesis has taken place in this cell. Students, did you notice one thing here that cytokinesis in animal cells takes place with a different style than how it takes place in plant cells means cytokinesis occurs differently in animal and plant cells. An animal cell undergoes cell furrowing. A constriction starts developing between the two nuclei. Gradually, this constriction meets from both the sides, thus dividing the cell into two daughter cells. Plant cells undergo cell plate formation. A plate-like structure starts developing from the center and thus dividing into two daughter cells. This happens due to the presence of cell wall in plants, which is absent in animal cells. A plant cell cannot pinch in the middle like animal cells, so it divides by developing a cell plate, the material of which is produced by Golgi apparatus. I hope with this our today's practical is over. Hope I have made a successful attempt in demonstrating the procedure of making temporary slides and the different stages of mitosis in plant cells as well as animal cells. This question answer session will also help you to face viva confidently during your practical exams. How many cells are produced from one cell when it is divided mitotically? Answer. Two cells are produced from one cell when it is divided mitotically. 
Next question. In which two sub processes the process of cell division is divided? Answer. Karyokinesis and cytokinesis are the two sub processes in which the process of cell division is divided. The next question is what do you mean by cytokinesis? Answer. It is the division of the cytoplasm. It takes place once karyokinesis is over. The next question is what is karyokinesis? Answer. Karyokinesis refers to the division of nucleus into two daughter nuclei. Next question. Which of the drawings shows telophase in a plant cell? Answer. This picture represents the telophase. The next question is, why do we use onion root tips to view stages of mitosis? Answer. Onion root tips are extremely popular for viewing the different phases of mitosis because the chromosomes are large and very dark when stained. The tips are used because they grow fast and the cells are quite large. The next question is, the slide here shows a cell undergoing mitosis. Identify the stage. Answer. The stage shown here is of metaphase happening in an animal cell. Next question. Identify the stage shown here and justify your answer. Answer. The cell shown here is of anaphase stage. The separated chromosomes have reached to the poles but have not uncoiled to form chromatin material. Next question. In which stage of cell division chromosomes are seen best? Answer. At metaphase stage of cell division, chromosomes are seen best. The next question is, give a major point of difference in the process of cell division of plant cell and animal cell. Answer. The major difference lies at cytokinesis stage. In animal cells, a cleavage furrow between two daughter nuclei starts developing. This furrow continues to separate the cytoplasm into two independent daughter cells. Plant cell after completing cytokinesis develops a membranous sac which moves along the midpoint between two daughter cells. This membranous sac dividing a cell into two daughter cells is known as cell plate. Hope the different stages of mitosis are now clear to you. Let us revise identifying features of each stage once again. It will help you in identifying the slides given during your practical exam. Experiment 1. Mitosis in plant cells. Interface, resting stage, only DNA replicates. Prophase, the chromatin condenses, spindle develops, nuclear membrane and nucleolus disappear. Metaphase, chromosomes align to metaphase plate. Anaphase, daughter chromosomes move to the poles. Telophase. Two daughter nuclei are formed. Cytoplasm division begins. Cytokinesis. Two daughter cells are formed by cell plate formation. Experiment 2. Mitosis in animal cells. Prophase. The chromatin condenses. Spindle develops. Nuclear membrane and nucleolus disappear. Metaphase. Chromosomes align at metaphase plate. Anaphase. Daughter chromosomes move to the poles. Telophase. Two daughter nuclei are formed. Cytoplasm division begins. Cytokinesis. 
two daughter cells are formed by cell furrow method. I hope both these experiments are clear to you. See you in next class. Till then, goodbye.